I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a bunny for fall. I'm going to take four fingers in the center and put a dot. And from that dot going to the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down, little curve line out, big curve line down, off the page. I come back to the dot. On the right hand side, I draw a curve line down, little curve line, big curve line down, off the page. I come right up here on the right and I draw a big curve line up, down, connect. On the left hand side I draw a straight diagonal up, curve line down, in, connect. I come back on the right and inside I draw a curve line down and on the left I draw a curved line up and down. Starting over here on the left hand side, on the inside I draw a curved line, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, curve line down, connect. Come back to the left and just go one, two little curved lines. On the right, one, two little curved lines. Come all the way down to the bottom. Right about here I'm going to put a dot and I draw a curve line up, in, curve line down, off the page. Right at the very center I draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. Come over here on the left at the top we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Come back to the first curve line, starting at the top. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come back to the top. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come over here to the center one. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come back to the top, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Last one, curve line up, down, in, out, in, out, connect. Come on the left hand side, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in my eyes so I can see my bunny's look. So I take black and color in the left and the right eyeball, as so. And then I made this bunny gray because I want him to look like he's out in the forest field. He's a wild bunny. He's not an Easter bunny, he's a wild bunny. So we're going to make his face gray and come up and do this section of his ear gray and this section of his ear gray. Then I'm going to take brown and I'm going to color the inside of his ears brown and I'm going to color the inside of this ear brown and I'm going to color the part of his face I can see brown. Because I'm going to make this all a uh, color scheme for autumn. Okay? Now, these are my autumn leaves. I'm going to take my yellow. We're going to triple color these. And I'm just going to put some yellow curved lines following my leaf. One, two curved lines. Not coloring, just adding a colored line of yellow on each side. Then I come in with orange, add another color so you can just kind of see it. 
color one side two sides curve lines out and then with my brown we're going to use a lot of brown on this one with my brown I'm going to slightly loop-de-loop -loop the color over all the orange and the yellow so that you can still see a little bit of the orange and yellow. So I'm going to do that so that these look like they're autumn leaves, fall leaves, twirling around my bunny. Okay? Then, I don't want to color in the whole entire background, but I do want it to look like it's got some color. I'm going to take my brown and I'm just going to draw stripes, straight lines going down. Now, some of you know I do this as a background all the time, but this time we're going to actually fill in the entire background with straight brown lines so that you still get the linear part of the line and a block of color. So I'm going to try and come in and do the background color, but I'm going to do it with these straight lines so I don't have to color and hurt my hand, but I do get that linear look in the background. Just doing straight lines next to each other. Cute. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my bunny ready to peek out from some falling autumn leaves for fall. Okay, bye-bye.